drop a like if you enjoyed the video and also hit that subscribe button to join the books nation and don't forget to hit the bell as well to never miss a video Stay book it's your boy book and i'm back with another wishlist video for you guys so the first wishlist video i did for nba 2k20 mobile got a lot of love from you guys so be sure to drop a like on this one as well the more likes it gets the more we reach out to 2k so they can make nba 2k20 mobile a banger so in my first wishlist video i spoke about a lot of things i would like to see in nba 2k20 mobile i said i'd like to see some improved graphics a better my career improved optimization customization but i couldn't touch on everything I obviously left out some stuff and I asked you guys to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. So this is probably going to be my last wishes video. At the very most, I'll probably do one more. But I just want to touch on the few things that I left out in the last video. So let me not waste any more time. We're going to dive straight into it. So first off, I like to see some more jerseys in NBA 2K20 Mobile. I saw so many comments saying this and rightly so because there's not a lot of jersey customization in the game at most a lot of the teams just have like two jerseys and you have to unlock one more in probably my career and that's not enough because on console for example they're like five six seven jerseys for one team in my opinion this shouldn't be something so difficult to add compared to like upgrading the graphics and other stuff this should be something relatively simple just adding more jerseys into the game so it'll be nice if 2k can bring that in 2k20 mobile next up and i don't know how i forgot this in the last one i like to see an improved ai improved cpu in nba 2k20 mobile i cannot stress on this enough the cpu is so dumb in the game mostly in my career because in quick game and also in the association mode the cpu is quite good when you increase the difficulty but in my career your teammates are so dumb your opponents are so dumb sometimes as well so it'll be really nice to see if they can improve that improve the ai because we want to challenge we want the game to be as realistic as possible so it'll be really nice if we could get that so next up i'd like to see an improved replay feature in nba 2k20 mobile a better instant replay don't get me wrong we have instant replay already for example if you get a nasty dunk in the game it's like a replay right after but what i'm talking about is the ability to pause the game go to the replay section and look at it from different angles yo that would be so nice for content creators like me i could get like some more thumbnails and it will also make it easier for you guys to submit clips for my top five play series that's one of the reasons why i even stopped doing the top five play series because all the clips just look repetitive and i'm sure it was very difficult for you guys to capture clips as well so if there was like an instant replay feature like on console where you can just pause it look at the play from different angles dude that would be so nice i don't know if that would be extremely difficult to do it's probably why they haven't done it yet but hopefully we'll be in 2k20 mobile next up i'd like to see a jump shot creator in nba 2k20 mobile i don't know why they took it out because i remember in nba 2k15 mobile and 2k16 as well there was a jump shot creator you could edit the base of your jump shot the release and even the speed it was so nice because you could make so many jump shot experiment with different ones i don't know why they took that out honestly right now all we have is the jump shot and the follow through and that's not bad but we would like to see the jump shot creator return where you can edit your base customize your jump shot fully oh come on 2k please just bring it back next up i like to see the ability to call plays in nba 2k20 mobile right now as it is the only way you can see plays is when you enable it in the presentation settings you can't really choose what play you want to do in my opinion it should be something simple maybe just have an ability to call for an isolation maybe even a post up something simple because when you're playing my career and you're the point guard you should be able to call plays for the team and run them as well so if we could have a feature like that that would be dope next up i'd like to see an improvement in the hairstyles and the cyber faces in nba 2k20 mobile we've had the same hairstyles and faces for god knows how long probably since 2k mobile existed <laughs> so i'd like to see an improvement to the hairstyles just add a couple more add some more variety and the faces as well but the ideal situation for me would be to bring a face scan into the game where you can have your actual face in there i know i'm reaching on that but that would be nice to see but at the bare minimum if we could get some extra faces some extra cyber faces and hairstyles as well that would be lit next up i like to see the old social media feature return in nba 2k20 mobile you guys know what i'm talking about the social media feature that was in nba 2k16 mobile yo that was the best one i remember like after games you get challenged by players you know to maybe score 20 points and if you don't do it they talk trash to you you talk trash in return yo that was so lit also if you didn't do all the media calls you out as well i know they have a social media feature in nba 2k19 mobile but it's not like nba 2k16 if they could bring that exact one back with some improvements game will be much better but if it's not in the game i mean it's not like i'm gonna be mad i'm more concerned about the gameplay and things that affect it last but not least i like to see the ability to make hustle plays and put back dunks in the game as it is right now we can't make any hustle plays for example if the ball's going out of bounds you cannot die for it the cpu can do it though but we can't do it i don't know why also we cannot do put back dunks as well 
which is so frustrating because my player in my career is a slasher for example so when my teammates miss a shot i cannot do a put back dunk the cpu can do it as well so i still don't know why we can't do this stuff it just adds that extra layer of gameplay that makes it fun and also when you have a big man as well you should be able to do all this right now we're getting so close to the release of nba 2k20 on all platforms and i know it's going to be difficult for 2k to implement all this stuff in the game but i'm just hoping for a couple of changes that's the ideal scenario in my opinion so yeah a couple of these changes and we'll be gucci anyway it's been your boy books be sure to drop a like on the video it's gonna mean a lot also subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll be back with some more bangers stay bookmarked yuck man i should have known hey excuse me jose yo soy el grando smokio and i want that grass comprende <laughs> hey Fuck you, cabron. Bruh. What? I don't think these guys are in a good mood. <laughs> now, that ain't nice. Coffee, yo, up El Wido before I blow your brains out all over the patio. Big smoke with the bars. Tu madre, pendejo. Oh, man, let me get the Fuck this, man. Fuck this. Oh, he so put out the bat. It's about to get ugly. Talk about Dude, yeah, the sucker punch. Big smoke. Remember that name.